Hey, I've been making a bunch of videos recently on the Model 3 batteries. This one's, this article here is from December about Fisker. And you may have noticed that I had one video in there about an innovation that they have patented apparently where they can have a 500 mile range vehicle that charges in one minute. And that's not going to be in the original, this relaunch. This is this new Fisker company. It's a relaunch of the previous company. They're actually going to use lithium ion cells that are existing from LG, I believe. And let's see, here it is. Yeah, they're going to use LG 2170 format. So it's actually, I think the 21700 is the same size as the new Tesla cell. So apparently that's what everybody's moving to. This 217 size, I guess, is optimized for electric vehicles. So I just want to make this video to show that this is not a Tesla innovation necessarily. Uh, it's just Tesla's 217. Uh, but that, that they're using the Model 3 and others are just a, a size of the battery. I, I know that it seems kind of confusing when you hear all this stuff, but really, they're just Tesla is just moving from like the 15 something that's in the SNX to the 2170, and then some of them have two zeros at the end. I don't think it makes any difference, or maybe it does. If you know why one has a one zero, one has two zeros, let me know. But the point of this video is just to say that. That's kind of where the industry is moving. Tesla was out was out in front. They survived. They used existing Panasonic battery sizes that uh, that they used in the SNX, and they still do to today. And now everybody's moving over here to this new two one seven zero or two one seven zero zero size lithium ion battery. So I don't know what Tesla's got in the pipeline. They're real secretive, but obviously Fisker is saying they've got something else that's not even lithium ion. I can't remember what the name of that is offhand, but that's what they want to use in their cars in the future. And they're just using this LG as like a stopgap measure, the size that they're using. They're trying to, I guess, leapfrog over Tesla, which obviously Tesla has been very successful in doing that, but uh, there's also a lot of risk involved. So that's just the point of this video, just to let you know that Fisker is just using the same technology as Tesla is right now. They're both on the same uh, wavelength here and they're both apparently using the same or nearly identical battery technology in their vehicles.